Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss the problem, find all possible paths from top to bottom. So we are given with a n into m sized grid and we have to find all the possible paths from top left of the bottom and to the bottom right of the grid. So from each cell, we can either move right, uh, only right to left, only right or down means we can either move from left to right means basically from a position to its right cell and from a cell to its down okay these are the two steps which we can take this is what we have to do for example in this case okay if we just copy this case and if we will just understand this case how we can solve the problem so you can see that the first test case which is given to us was it was like one two three four Five, six. Okay, so for this test case, if we will just focus on the paths which are available to start from this is the starting point, okay, which is the top left corner, this is the end point, which is the bottom right. So there are basically three paths to reach from here to here. If we will just move, if we are just moving right and down. these are the two steps which are going to be from a cell. I can either move to the right or I can move to the down. I cannot go left or uh, up or diagonally. All the others are not available. Only these two steps are possible. Okay. This is what is given to us. Fine. So now, how many ways are there? The first way is start from one, then go to two, then three, then six. This was the first way, which I can just write one, two, three, six. Okay. The second was, I can just start from 1, then 4, then 5, then 6. This was the second way how I can do it. Okay. Now, if I talk about a third way, it is like 1 to 2, then 5, and then 6. Okay, it will just take 1 to 2, then 5, then 6. These are the three ways how I can start from top left and reach bottom right. So, I I don't have to only just, we don't have to only just output the number of ways, we have to also output that what are that parts. Means like 1, 2, 3, 6, 1, 4, 5, 6. This is what we have to do. And you will see it here, you can see that here, parts are also here. This is what we have to do. Okay. So, means, obviously because here, for each cell, we can move at the right or we can move down. So what we can do, we can use the concept of recursion, where for each cell, we will recursively call its next cell, which is either the right one or the down one. But because we have to also output the path, just like this, so that means we have to also backtrack all our recursive steps and we have to store that value, that what are the path is. This is what we have to do. So now let's take, now let's see that how can we perform this particular operation. Before that, we have to just observe some observation the thing is that whenever we are at a at a particular cell and when we are at the last row for example this is the this is the grid given to us okay so when we will add the last row of that cell so this is the last last row you can see below this there is no cells this is the last row so when we are at the last row we cannot move down this is the first case now when we are at the last column, we cannot move right. These are the some steps which we have to also consider while writing a code. So basically for each cell, for each cell, we can either move right or down. But for the cell, which is the basically at the last, last row, we cannot move down. And which are at the last column, we cannot move right. This is what we have to do. Okay. Now let's see that how can we implement this thing. Okay. Uh, sure. So now what we can do, we can just uh, move towards the code part and let's see that how can we implement this thing. So as we have discussed that we have to solve this problem using recursive technique and we will also backtrack the recursive calls. Okay. So for that thing what we will do, we will first take a function which is basically a recursive and a backtracking function. Okay. And also we have to output it in a vector, 2D vector. So we can just declare this 2D vector as a variable, let's say answer, okay? And then what we will do, we'll just declare our function, which is let's say back. 
okay now what will be the functions parameter so in this function first obviously we want these things as it is we want the value of our n we want the value of our m we want the value of our grid that will be as it is copied and will be passed to this particular function as a parameter there will be two more variables the variables will be int i and int j this is basically the current index where we are it will be basically the current index where we are okay because we have to call we have to start from 0 comma 0 and we have to reach n minus 1 comma n minus 1 if we if you talk about 0 by minus 2 index okay so this is our basically a recursive function okay now now the thing is that uh, for this particular thing what we will do is for this particular thing what we will do is that we have to also take a vector let's say that the vector is path and in this path we will basically backtrack the we will basically store the steps we are going because for example if we are at inject one in this path we will insert one then for example we are taking two operations first we are going from one to two and from one to four recursively so there will be basically two paths one is from one to four and the second is from one to two that is why we will just backtrack okay so now let's see at how can we solve this particular problem so first of all we will consider the base cases okay there are different cases the first case is that if we have reached the end of the we have reached the end basically the bottom right of our grid so in that case what we would do if we have reached the bottom right then we have to just push that current value of the grid into the path and then push that part into the answer because answer is our 2d vector and then we have to just return it so i can just write that path dot push grid ig that yeah if we are at the last index you can see that in all the paths the last value is 6 only which is the bottom right because we have to end there we have to first push that thing into our path and then we have to push that path into our answer because we have to output several paths all the paths. and then we have to return this is the base case. okay then there are other conditions also what if that we are at the last row so as i told you that when we will add the last row in that case we can only move towards right we cannot move towards down okay we can only move towards right so moving to the right and moving towards down means that for example currently we are at index i comma j for example currently we are at index i comma j so when we are moving right that means we are moving to index com i comma j plus one and when we are moving down, we are moving to index i plus 1 comma j. So this is how we'll update our values of i and j. And obviously, if we are at the last row, we cannot move to down. And if we are at the last column, we cannot move right. Okay. So this is also what we will implement here. Okay. So this means that we are at the last row. That is why first what we will do, we will just copy this thing because we are obviously we are at that particular index. So we are, we are basically traveling from that from that. We are going through that. So we have to insert that thing into the path. That is the first thing we will do. And the other thing is we will recursively call the same function but with the updated value of i and j. So we will just call this function. Okay. First give them the same values. The values are like this. That are the exact values which is given to us in the function. But here as I told you that when we are at the last row we cannot move towards downwards. We can only move towards right. And right means we are moving to i comma j to i comma j plus 1 so here we will do i comma j plus 1 okay this is what we will do now similarly for example if we are at last row in that case what we will do in that case also we will just first push that particular cell into our path because obviously we are going through that okay so we will just push it into the path but instead of j plus 1 because we are not moving right if we are at the last uh, column, we are just moving down. So we will just make i plus. And else means we are neither at the last, uh, we are neither at the bottom right, we are neither at the last row, we are neither at the last uh, column. Means we are at some middle cell. In that case, we have two options. We can either move down or we can either move. So first, again the same thing, we will first push that current path into our, that current cell into our path. Then we will make both the recursive calls. This is the first recursive call in which we are going to write. In which 
we are going and the other call is when we are going that is something like this okay and this is how our whole program and when this whole program is work we will add the bottom right reverse return and then when all the recursive calls are made then what it will do it will just store the value of our paths in our so what we can do we can just call that function in our main function okay in a function which is given to for that we will first create a empty vector path which we have to pass with this function okay which we have to pass with this function fine then what we will do we will just pass it like backtrack because we have to start from the top left so i i and j will be 0 comma 0 means we have to start from 0 comma 0 only you can see so our i and j will be 0 comma 0 our n will be as it is m will be as it is grid will be as it is and path will be empty currently we don't have any it is empty okay and then we will just simply return the value of our answer because after calling this function our answer will contain all the path our answer will contain all the path okay so this is what we are doing this is how we are doing and we are solving this problem okay so now if you will just talk about we will just compile it is it working fine or not you can see that it is working fine uh, okay so here it is saying that uh, basically uh, it just wants that first we can go down so i will just replace this thing and i will just put this thing at the top it is required that first we have to move down and then we have to move right okay this is how we, they are basically backtracking but that was also fine and because according to here we have to do like this okay this is what we have to do and then we can just submit this you can see all the test cases are passed okay now if we talk about the time complexity and space complexity for our solution okay so it will be something like that basically total we have n into m cells total we have n into m cell okay and in general case for each cell we can either move right or move down so for each cell we will have two choices so the time complexity the recursive time complexity will be basically equal to will basically be equal to 2 to the power n into n okay that is our time complexity fine and if we talk about the space complexity okay so we are taking a answer 2d vector to store our path, okay to store our path. and basically the the size of our each path will be of order o of n plus because our each path will contain n plus m order of cells for example in that case which we have discussed okay when there were n was 2 and m was 3 we have all basically n plus m minus 1 cells in our path okay and similarly so our order is here and how many paths we will have how many paths we will have that will be also calculated that how many paths we will have okay so if we talk about the number of paths for uh, reaching from uh, uh, the, the top left to the bottom right okay we can just calculate the number of paths to reach okay fine so it will be something like that for each cell we can either move to the right okay for each cell we can either move to the right or we can move to the down move. okay fine. and so our total number of paths for our given uh, will be something uh, okay so for that there is a basic formula also what we can do because as we know because we are when we have to start from top and we have to reach the bottom right then basically we have to take n minus 1 uh, n minus 1 down steps and m minus 1 right step 
सो बेसिकली देर आर एन माइनस एन प्लस एम माइनस टू टोटल स्टेप ओके एंड आउट ऑफ दैम देर आर एन माइनस वन डाउन स्टेप टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेज इज बेसिकली एन माइनस एन प्लस एम सी एन माइनस एम माइनस टू सी एन माइनस एम दीज आर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स वी आर वी आर टू रीड ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन काउंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स थ्रू विच द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पार्ट फ्रॉम टॉप लेफ्ट टू द बॉटम राइट ऑफ द सेल So this is how we can calculate using this formula. And we will just multiply it in here. It will give us the basic uh, space complex. Okay. So if we talk, uh, so I hope that the video is clear to you. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button. Please comment if the video is helpful. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. And keep solving problems every day. Thank you.